so the Volvo doesn't have a good cup holder in it. So what I decided to do was to design and 3D print um, a good cup holder. So you can see in the background here, I have a prototype already done and uh, I'm gonna do something similar to that here. So the first thing I do is I make a big box and I was using the other one, which I had already shrunk down the top as a template for size. Um, so here I just am getting it correct, make sure my size is right. And uh, then I'm gonna move on to making the whole thing. So now I'm gonna get that back out of the way. And what I'm gonna do here is start to make the cup holder. So I'm gonna put a big circle in the center, um, a cylinder, lock it to the center. And I uh, have to figure out the size, so it ends up being, I think, 4.3 or something. You'll see in a second. 4.1 was too small. 4.2 and 4.3. Yep, so side 4.4 is too big, so I believe I go to 4.3 again. And then what I'm going to do is I am going to extrude this sort of in reverse. And what that does is it cuts out the inside part of this. And then boom, there it is. So once it's cut out, and now I'm going to make the rounded part of the front. Um, I am no expert in this program, so I just kind of do it the way it works for me. So I select the center of this, and then I select the side. And then I'm going to cut around. and boom and then what I do is um, I grab the next tool which I forgot the name off the top of my head uh, we'll see in a second you can see that I got the curve here so I grab the polyline tool I believe is what it was called and what I do is I use this to make the side pieces of this. So here you can see I make a line here and then I make a line that comes back. And what this does is it makes it a piece that can be actually extruded and thus we can take out some of the other stuff that's here. So now you're gonna see me hit the extrude button again. And I'm gonna suck those pieces downwards and that just gets rid of all this. And you can see they weren't perfect, so I had a couple of extra pieces that I have to delete here. So if I can select this one, I'm gonna delete that. There you go. And then I'm gonna delete the lines that I just made. If you click the whole thing, you can actually delete the whole object, like the see-through object that was there. So from here, I'm just looking at it. Um, you got the nice rounded front end, and that's what I was looking for. Um, you'll see I'll install this in the Volvo later after I 3D print it. But um, I basically just wanted a couple that was sort of like small out of the way, and uh, this ends up being perfect. The issue with the first one was I made it way too tall. Um, it also was a little bulkier than it needed to be. If you look, you can see it's thicker up in the the top here you can see them on the back the whole outside edge is thick you don't need it for for what I for what I'm doing here it's just to hold um, a smoothie cup so it's uh, just needs to be big so what I'm doing now is uh, I'm gonna make some a holder for the bottom of it originally I was gonna make this one totally uh, through because of the smoothie cup that I have um, it's like a cone it gets bigger at the top and smaller at the bottom but for anything else, it would be totally useless because there would be nothing to hold it at the bottom. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to put this in because uh, I test fitted with the other one and knew that the smoothie cup was going to be fine um, with this height. So uh, what I do here is I make the pieces for the bottom. I'm just going to make a cross and then I'm going to cut out the ends so that it can uh, it'll fit into the inside perfectly. And this is going to be completely attached to the final product. So here we go. So now I'm going to pull that guy in. And then I'm going to duplicate it. Control C, Control V. And then I'm going to rotate that. So you'll just click on the move button. And you'll rotate it around. And then what I do here is I'm going to select both of these. 
and then I'm going to make it one piece. So you click the combine button right there, click on both of them, and then hit enter. And boom, it's one piece. So you could combine this with the entire project now, and it'd be all right. I duplicate the main couple there, subtract it from the bottom, and then I have another piece here. So that just gives me the plus in the bottom, the uh, cross, I guess you could say, and then the cup holder in itself. So you can see me duplicate it right there. Now I'm going to subtract that from the bottom piece. This is totally unnecessary. It's only if I just felt like doing it because I wanted the piece to be sort of in the center so I could then delete it if I didn't like it um, and remove it from the design. But it ends up working out perfect. So. I just subtracted that, and now there's these little tiny extra pieces that are sticking out the side. You would have saw those on the final print if you had just printed it like that. So, there you go. There's the piece. So I just deleted it, and then hit Control uh, z to bring it back, because I wanted to make sure it was right. So now moving on, we're going to take the sides here and make little rectangles. So I take the rectangle tool, and I select the piece that I want to pull out. Um, and then what I'm going to do is click on it, and... Um, pull it out. Um, so basically you could extrude it or you can use the pull tool. But uh, what I wanted to do was duplicate that side first to the other side so it's the same exact size. <clears throat> so once you do that, now you can do the pull. So if you click on it, hit the extrude or pull like I said, and then do the same thing here. If you do extrude and you go into another solid material, it will take out the solid material. So once you do that, that's what I wanted, and I decided on the size. So now I click here, and then I click in there, and I type in 1.5, I believe. And then there, now both sides are exactly the same. So from here, I wanted to round out those corners. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that tool, the two-point arc. And if I could get it to show up right, there you go. And then you want to choose your center point, and then choose the first corner and the last corner. Once you do that, you'll get your little corner piece right there. Then we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Here, click on the center point. You're going to click on the first point. And these don't need to be perfect for what I'm doing. So if they were a little bit off, not a, not the end of the world. I did 1.5 because I knew it was 1.5. And then I select that. So there's your arc. Boom. Um, so now you have to make those front corners um, able to be extruded. And once again, I'm going to grab the, uh, the uh, polyline tool. And uh, I'm going to then take the piece and then extrude it down. So as you'll see here, as I grab them, I uh, make the little lines and then I pull that piece down and extrude it reverse. Um, I have a couple little pieces here that are left over that weren't selected, just my mistake and when I selected these pieces. So go through and I delete those little tiny pieces. Then I'm gonna delete the uh, top parts too, the, uh, extra pieces. So there you go. Boom. Gone. Alright, so that corner piece is fine. doesn't need to be removed. It's part of it. Um, so this other side, I'm going to do the same thing. Grab the polyline tool and grab the corner. Grab the outside edge, grab the other corner, then you want to use the extrude tool, click on it, then pull down, hit enter, boom, it's gone. Now you can delete the top pieces because you don't need them anymore. If you select the whole thing, you delete the whole thing as one, so boom, there you go. So that's that. That's the main body of this cup holder for the car. And uh, on the Jetta, which I think I mentioned later, in when I install it, I'm going to modify this a little bit because um, the Jetta needs a good cup holder too for the side. It can't hold my big cup up on the top. So I'm going to do the same thing in that car. Um, but it'll be a slightly modified design. So now I'm just going to delete the other one because we don't need it anymore. We got the size right. 
Um, now we have to make the holes for the screws that are going to hold this in place. So what, what I tend to do is I tend to just make four little tiny um, cylinders on the back and what you'll see is I just decide on a position. Um, I duplicate it, make another one, and then once I get my final position that I like, um, you don't want the stuff too close to the edges if you're designing something to 3D print because if it's too close, it could break right through. This design ends up being really, really, really like um, solid when it's done. It's the way I printed it too, but um, it just ended up being really, really solid. So all I'm doing here is measuring up. I think I did five centimeters in total in between the two. So once I decide I like this position, I'm going to select both of them. I'll do control C, control V, copy paste. And then once you do that and just move them, um, as you can see, I'm, I didn't like my positioning too much here. So I moved it up here a little bit and then I decide right here is where I'm doing control, <laughs> copy paste, control C, control V, and then you'll see I'll duplicate them and move them over to the other side. And now all I do is make sure they look like they're in the same exact spot. You use the rulers in the program to measure it right at the top. Uh, there's a ruler tool. Um, and now I decide that I like it. So what I'm going to do is copy, paste again, and move these ones forward a little bit. So what this is going to do is I'm going to now pull out on the sides of these and make these substantially bigger. So what I'm making is a bigger opening around where the screw hole goes in. And you'll see in a minute what it looks like when you're done. But uh, once I select them, I can then pull it out to the size I want. And then I hit enter when I like it. And I decide I need to move them out a hair more. You don't want them too far in because if they're too far in, they're just going to um, take out all of the place where you need to put your screws in. And if you, there isn't enough material where the screws go in, you'll just snap it right off too. Because you got to realize when you're 3D printing this, it's not going to be the uh, strongest material if you do thing, walls, thin stuff like that. You need to have it, you need to think ahead and make things thicker in certain places so that your mounting will work. So if this all was too thin, I would have just tossed this out and started over and made the back section a little bit longer. So what I'm doing now is I select all the pieces um, that I'm moving forward because uh, what we're going to end up doing is we're going to take all these pieces and subtract them from the actual cup holder. And what that does is it makes a big hole where the stuff is. So just think of it as cutting a hole out exactly where you want it. So I use the cylinders. I'm sure there's another way to do this. Like I said, I'm just, I just do this as for fun. Um, and this is how I do it. I'm sure there's easier ways. You can probably draw a circle directly on it and extrude through it. But uh, this works for me. Um, it's simple. Um, as you can see here, I'm trying to select each one of them which you don't actually need to do this because uh, you have to reselect them again when you decide to subtract it. So this is technically a mistake, but I don't care. I'll show you my mistakes. It's not going to hurt anything. So uh, once you hit subtract, you then have to reselect everything. So you select the, the um, target that you want to remove everything from. There, I just did an example. I did two pieces. So the target was that. I said subtract. You can see I only selected the two. So it just took out the front pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to undo that, and then now I'm going to do the whole thing at once. So we're going to do subtract. We select the target of the cup holder, and the source, is, the sources are the all the little pieces that we want to subtract. So once we select them all, you then hit enter, and then it'll all be gone. There'll just be holes there, and that'll be our mounting holes. So boom, I hit enter, and there you go. The mounting holes are there. So these mounting holes actually came out 
worked out to be perfect because you'll see in a couple minutes when I install this into the car, um, I was going to use smaller screws and they would have worked, but um, I ended up using bigger ones and I didn't even need to put nuts or bolts on the back of them because they were just, they were big enough to hold in the plastic all on their own. So this is the cup holder. Now what we're going to do is we're going to continue on and um, I'm going to show you briefly um, 3D printing this. Um, there's no point in watching the whole thing. It just takes a long time. So, um, here first, what I'm going to do is export the file. So, file, and then export to STL. Um, and then what you do is select where you want to save it. I pick the desktop or something. And then... Once you save it, and once you name it and save it, you can then import it into your 3D printing program. Um, for this one, I'm using uh, uh, PrinterBot Simple to print this. Um, it's the wood version, so I believe it's called Repeteer Host. I don't know. Is the program I use here? Um, I may be pronouncing that wrong. Um, you can also, if you have like an Ultimaker or something like that, and even if you don't, you can use uh, Cura, C-U-R-A. And that program works really well for um, 3D printing stuff. So once you do that, what I'm going to do here is I just took the object, put it in there. Um, some of my settings were slightly wrong on this because I had to reinstall it recently. So um, my bed is actually slightly bigger than this. So it, I could have printed it at full size. But what I ended up doing here is I uh, turn off the support material. I printed at 0.97 five or nine seven six I think and then um, I just slice it and start printing okay so here I'm just printing real quick um, this is at 200% speed so um, this printer was having some slight nozzle issues at the moment so that's why it doesn't look perfect but uh, it came out totally solid so I don't care if I what I'm gonna do in the end is probably um, take this back out of the car sand it down uh, put some like high fill primer on it and then paint it totally so it matches the car. Um, so yeah, here it is. So the Volvo 850 um, didn't come with a good cup holder anywhere unless you got a higher end model. The more expensive models had a cup holder here and it come out this way but it would go right over your um, your window switches which isn't exactly ideal when you have coffee and stuff leaking down. So my plan is not to get the uh, replacement for this um, from a model that had it. My plan is to take my 3D printed cup holder and put it somewhere about here. Um, generally speaking. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to mount this, but I think I'm going to put it as far up as I can so it doesn't get in the way of the seat. So we'll go from there. I'm going to try to put it in two screws. I could go down here, but I think it's further up the better for me. So, let's see. So I got all kinds of little tiny screws and stuff. I think what I'm going to do is just hold it where I want it. Plenty of room back here. So I think I'm gonna do it like this. So I'm just drilling a couple little holes. So I decided to go with a slightly bigger bolt. So 
little bit longer than we want to. It shouldn't matter too much. You can always cut it down if I don't like it. So I couldn't find any longer ones of this other size. So let's see. Let's see how ridiculous these are. Take out. Take this one. And let's see what it looks like. And I forgot to grab bigger screwdriver. Alright, so when I went with the bigger screws, I didn't actually need to put anything on the back. It's super solid. Um, it's the whole plastic piece moving. So, there it is. Stuff on the driver's seat. It's a little far away, but I don't really use the cup holder for in the morning. It's, it's meant for to hold my smoothie, so my smoothie will sit right here. Um, if I can see where I'm pointing, yeah, my smoothie will sit right here, and uh, it shouldn't be too much in the way here, but we'll find out. If it is, what I'm going to do is I'll just print a little piece that pushes this out just a hair. Um, the other option is put a cup holder right here. Wow, I'm really good at aiming this. So if it does stick out, or if it does get blocked by this piece right here, which I'll be able to tell shortly, um, I will just build a, another piece that pulls this out just a hair. I'll print a spacer for it and uh, we'll put it back on there and it'll be out just a hair so it doesn't get hit by this. But like we say, prototype. So if I like it and if what well, I'm gonna check in a minute is how far the seat comes up here. Um, if there's room, I'm gonna put another one right here next to it. Um, so yeah, that's the gist of this. I just, I need to do the same thing in the Jetta because my cup holder in that car works fine for like small cans and stuff, but uh, not really good for my big smoothie cup. So um, I want to have another cup holder in there. So that's the plan, doing something very similar to this in there. So for the moment, let's move the seat up and see where this lands. Yeah, see, I don't think you could really do a second cup holder. Unless the seat is always going to stay back. Look at that. Perfect. Doesn't touch it. Just out of the way. So. That's that. So there you go with the, with the bottle of water. It's perfectly fine. Got tons of room. So can of soda. All that stuff will fit in here. Perfect. So here I am looking at the Jetta. Trying to make up my mind. I think I'm going to end up doing the same thing, a cup holder down here in this area. And I believe that design would work pretty well, but I'm going to have to modify it to have a lip 
that goes down a little further at the bottom because it sticks out. Um, the Jetta is a pretty tight car in general, but putting another couple there right here probably won't really affect the passenger too much. I mean, that's all the way up, so I could probably build one out here that sticks out a little further. That would be ideal, but with the seat where you normally would have it, you got tons of space down here, so I'm thinking maybe, maybe here, it's like an inch tall, inch, inch and a half, and then it goes down a little further, so either it goes down lower in this car, and you just mount it there, which might be an option, just mount it low, or, and just pull the design out here more. But yeah, these cup holders, they work okay for like this kind of stuff, it's not going to go anywhere. But if you have anything that's taller, they just go whoop and they fall right out. So, that's the gist of that. So, my really dirty car. So, I'm going to I'm gonna redesign the cup holder for this car. I think I'm just going to make a base that sticks out further. And I think I'm going to put it up further here, so it's sort of out of the way. So, if you like 3D printing videos, just let me know, and I will uh, see you in the next one.